Oh boy, Mobile High Squad, we have kind of an issue, a big problem. Mm -hmm. Not kind of an issue, this is a big problem. We've been trying to fix it for the longest time, but we're kind of stuck. Mabu High Squad, the problem is... Hey guys, welcome to my daily vlogs. Please subscribe. There's a glitch with our Ants Canada editing. We have an Ants Canada video that's due today. We've been working so hard. Heinz here has been working around the clock and it's taking forever to render. Something's wrong. We can't figure it out. And the video is due tonight. We were actually supposed to go to the Matsuyamas for breakfast this morning and now we can't because we gotta figure this out. YouTuber problems. Anyways guys, if you're new to the channel, welcome to the daily vlogs. My name is Mikey Bustos. That's Heinz over there at the LC back there. That's the Gaia. Hope is somewhere on the balcony. Be sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed this vlog and hit the subscribe button to join the Mabu High Squad. We will be your daily dose of positive vibes online. We're trying to stay positive right now during this moment of crisis. Mm -hmm. Just gotta be calm. Gotta figure it out. Technology. Is Mercury in retrograde? Hope, do you know if Mercury is in retrograde? Do you, do you, do you? Hmm? No. No biting my hands. Those are veins, not worms. This is a pecker, this one. Stop pecking. Don't peck. She's like a cartoon, I swear. When are you gonna lay some eggs for us, huh? <laughs> Mabu High Squad, thank goodness. What ended up happening was we had to delete a lot of stuff from my computer, like my C drive, all of this, and we had to wait an hour for it to render. Finally, we're here at the Matsuyamas. Hi, there's Aaron and Mark. Aaron has a meet, a swim meet. Yes, good luck. You'll do awesome. There's Ro. And guys, check out the breakfast they made. <gasps> Pancakes, mm, tapa, egg, Canadian maple syrup. Oh, is it? It's from no, North it Korea? <laughs> it's Canadian. And guys, burritos. OMG, wow. Ro is such a cook. And Nutella. Okay, this is gonna be like carb loading. Mm. And whiskey. Yes, in the morning. <laughs> guys, this breakfast burrito is so good. It's got chorizo, steak, hash browns, egg, bacon. Oh my god. Mm. So good, you guys. Eat like kings here. Pancakes with Nutella. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna have some too later. Carb. This breakfast burrito is five Mabuhai stars. <laughs> oh yeah, five Mabuhai stars now. Wow, five Mabuhai You don't stars. even have a restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> the Matsuyamas have such fast internet. We're always here like when we gotta upload like last minute. Their building has fiber fast. It's so fast. Awesome. And then I was like, I'm just gonna put the laptop here on this Ramoa. And I'm like, Ro, you bought another Ramoa in London when she went? And she was like, no, it's RJ's. Hey! RJ, you bought another Ramoa? Yeah, it's, it's gold. OMG. You guys know Ramoa, these uh, suitcases? They are not cheapo. I only have one. You already have two. Oh, excuse me. I only have one Ramoa. You have three. Anyways, look at the packaging of it. Wow. We also got other gifts from you guys, Mabuhay Squad. Check this out. Malamang alamang. <laughs> so for you Filipinos who don't know what alamang is, it's it's like this dip. Shrimp, Filipinos. Shrimp paste. It's a shrimp paste that um, Filipinos dip things in, like sour mango, and they put it in certain Filipino dishes, like pinak bed. This one is sweet and spicy. And they're different flavors. I never used to like Bagoong until I moved here to Philippines. Something about the weather changed my palate. But look, sent a note. Hi Mikey, we hope you like our Malamang Alamang. Sorry if my son always asks to take a picture with you. He's a big fan of yours and he's always happy to see you every time. My son's name is Onzo. All right. Hi Onzo, thank you. And also look what else we got. Uh, this is so kind. So Arjun and I opened it earlier. This is from October 22. This is a little magnet from Frankfurt. Wow. Oh, from a fan, Tina Rutin, Denningoff. Thank you so much. Now, if you recall, when we were in Frankfurt earlier this year, we forgot to buy a magnet and we were really sad about it. But, oh, thank you so much, Tina. We now have a Frankfurt magnet. This is perfect. Yay. Guys, our fridge is filling up. Seriously, like, no space. No space. Okay, Frankfurt, you're going right here next to Bologna and Laos. Yes. Okay, guys, it's nighttime, and I want to see if Hope is using her nest. Let's, let's find out. 
No, you're not. You're not using your nest. You're waiting at the door and you're pecking my foot. Hope, go sleep in your nest. And you knocked over your bowl. Why are you up this late? Huh? Sorry. Go, go sleep in your nest. It does look like she's been in there though. I think. She knocked over her bowl. This nest is for you. I don't know how to show you that your nest is in there. Can I push you inside? Here, let me. <laughs> go, go, go. Inside. Inside. Yes. Ooh, go, go, go. Inside. See, it's comfy. Go, go, go. Comfy nest. Yes. Okay, stay in there for like three seconds. One, two, three. See, isn't that great? More seconds. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. 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 <laughs> At least she's been inside and she feels it's comfy. Sorry, didn't mean to force you like that. But hopefully you will come to learn that this nest is your bed. Oh, Hope, can't wait till we move to the farm. Okay, I gotta go. Good night, okay? Good morning, guys. OMG. So, I opened Ligaya's cage, greeted her in the morning. She's getting her food now. But I also opened Hope's door and was surprised to see this. It looks like Hope has been inside the nest and she kind of customized it herself. She took some of the brown paper which lined the back wall and she pulled it down. Something tells me she was inside, guys, last night. Are you inside? <laughs> Hope's enjoying some squash this morning. Guys, so my animals love when I play the new parody. Ligaya sings along. Mm -hmm. And you won't believe, my frog also sings along. He starts chirping. And what's amazing is he chirps in the key of this parody. I'm hoping he'll do it again. He just did it. He starts to sing. <laughs> and Hope is also over there making noise. Caldereta, huh? Manila, panicata. Yes, I don't know what. Yeah. Come on, Jabba the Hutt, sing along. You were singing along earlier. It's really amazing that animals can appreciate music as well, like human music. I'm trying to hide from the frog. He's probably shy because he knows I was paying attention to him when he started to sing. But maybe if I'm out of view, he will start singing. Come on, Jabba the Hutt. The guy's like, why are you on the floor? This is different. This is a new trend. Yeah, you like this song? <laughs> Come on, Jabba. I know you can't fight it. I know you can't fight, but sing along. He usually starts singing along when the chorus hits. <laughs> it's so cute. He did it yesterday too. And yeah, it amazes me that it's in the same key. <laughs> Maybe that's why it like stimulates him somehow to sing because it's in the key of his natural song. Okay, we'll try again later. He's not doing it right now. Having a drink, the guys? The guy has fresh, purified water every single day. I sometimes replace the water twice a day. So she has clean, clean water. So it's nighttime and someone is trying to get in a last minute meal. And guess what? She's eating her new tops pellet. So happy about this. Yes. Nice organic, no animal products. <laughs> Good morning, Ligaya. Yes. So guys, check this out. Switching it up a little bit. Her chopped up veggies and sprouts are now here where the water used to be. And water, we've moved here. Just changing it up, because um, with African greys, you need to get them used to change so that they grow up confident birds. And Ligaya doesn't know what to do. She's like, this is different. Go ahead, Ligaya. It's the same food. Nothing's different. Just the position and where we've put it. <laughs> She's like, I don't like change. You gotta get African greys used to change. Otherwise, if they don't, they grow up to be like scared birds. And that's when they have problems. They start plucking all of this. She's like, okay, screw breakfast. <laughs> I'm gonna wait till it goes back to normal. <laughs> OMG guys, Ate Elsie just showed me this. Apparently it was in our sink, this house gecko. 
And I'm like, oh, so it's dead? I'll feed it to the ants. She's like, no, it's alive. What? Okay, so it's probably a very disoriented right now. I am going to let it go in my ant room. For those of you who don't know, here in the Philippines, these house geckos are just so common. They're like as common as house spiders. There's kind of no stopping them from coming in your home. Um, so I'm gonna let it go. I'm gonna let you go right here. Now, they say it's bad luck to like keep these guys, so I'm not going to keep it. Oh my god, it's so cute. I'm just gonna let it go. Go ahead. There you go. Oh, oh my gosh, he's in the crabs. This is a, oh no, don't go out in there. Some crabs might get you. Oh my gosh, no. This is not the right place. Okay, go, run. Yes, oh, not in the crab's hole. Okay, run, go. Go, 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 out of here. Yes, out of this place. Oh my goodness. This house gecko loves water, apparently. Okay, seriously, I'm just gonna, no! This is your demise if you stay here. No, don't go in the water either. Oh my goodness. I've never seen a gecko as obsessed with water. What was he doing in my sink? Okay, got him. Okay, here, I'm gonna let you go. Don't be swimming in the Selva de Fuegos River, trust me. Okay, I'm gonna put you up here. Go, run free. Run free. Go, 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 go. My vampire crabs might have eat, caught him and eaten him. Okay, I gotta fix this. They're all in their little burrows right now. Now, I can't even begin to fathom and imagine the wildlife we'll be running into once we move to the Mabuhay Squad farm. Uh, for those of you who don't know, RJ and I will be moving to a farm maybe in a year. I know we said that last year, but it took us a while to get permits, so we're behind schedule. But this farmhouse is maybe an hour and a half outside the city, so it's pretty much like in the countryside. And out there, guys, they got all sorts of snakes, mm -hmm. Burmese pythons, you know what I'm saying? Like wild Burmese pythons, native lizards for days. They've got monitor lizards. Um, apparently, like some of the the workers who are building the house found a monitor lizard and they killed it and ate it. And we told them, okay, no eating of lizards. We want our place to be a sanctuary for the reptiles. So I bet there are tons of awesome birds there and I can't even begin to imagine the insects and arachnids there. For sure there are tarantulas. Oh, I can't wait. Imagine waking up and seeing a huge tarantula like crawling up. That's gonna be so cool. Speaking of which, about the Mabuhay Squad farmhouse, um, architect Dennis, our architect who was with us every step of the way from designing the house to now building it and all the paperwork that needed to be done. So RJ and I and architect Dennis have been on a WhatsApp chat and he's been sending us pure pictures. Apparently the Bahai Kubo in the back, the traditional Filipino bamboo house is coming together, almost done. And it sits over a fish pond. Guys, the fish pond is so big. I cannot wait to see like fish in there lily pads and lotus and like rocks and like I want it to look like a natural pond you know what I'm saying like like a beautiful natural pond with reeds and all of this and aquatic plants oh that's gonna be so so nice so that's coming together well they've also started excavation for the foundation of the house so they've been digging all of these I think it's like 17 or like 19 huge like holes into the ground and apparently the rocks at the bottom of the soil like where the foundation is apparently is so strong the rocks are so hard that it broke a inch diameter drill piece <laughs> so that's good our house is being built on like solid rock you know what i'm saying like they said in that biblical scripture like build your house on like solid rock and not on sand anyway really really excited i think in the coming weeks the team will be ready to pour the concrete into the foundational holes, which we will all be there for. And like there's a ceremony apparently, so that's gonna be cool. And my dad will actually be around for that. So that's the update guys on the Mabuhay Squad bar house, yes. Now in terms of the Ilo Ilo Hacienda, the Mabuhay Squad Hacienda, I get, is that what we're gonna call it guys? What should we call it? What? Mabuhay Squad Farm 2.0? Like I don't know what to call it. You guys let me know in the comments. In terms of that, all the paperwork is done of course, and we're trying to figure out now what our next steps are. It's currently running on its own, so it's not like we need to move like super fast. We still need to have a celebration with the locals there just to celebrate, I guess, new beginnings. So we're really excited about that too. Really excited, oh my gosh. 2020 guys, it's a new decade. 
There you go. You adapted quick. That's where your new water bowl will be. Mm -hmm. Her chopped up veggies and pellets will go here. I also moved it because I was finding that as she was playing with her toy and like chewing it up, which by the way, she's been doing a great job of, some of the pieces will drop in her water bowl and the dyes will leak. Now, the dyes on this toy are organic and safe. They're parrot safe, whatever. They're natural dyes. But still, I don't want her drinking like red or purple or blue water. So I've moved her water down there. All right, Mabu High Squad, we need to talk. Mm -hmm. There's something um, that happened tonight that I need to talk about. Um, and it's really shaken things up for RJ and I. So Mabu High Squad, tonight 